We're Keith and Kim. Kim and Keith. And we're the, the Mississippi, Mississippi Gypsies. Gypsies. We live and travel full time in our RV. Because we're carnies and filmmakers. We bring you Renaissance festivals, fairs, music events, and more. So come along and enjoy the journey with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It'll help our channel grow. So what have we been getting into since our last video? Well, if you know us, basically everything we could find. I don't care what people say, tomorrow is too far away. We can leave and they can stay, cause I for one am never gonna change. Ever since I was a kid, knobby knees and lots of lip. I found it hard to listen when they told me to be quiet and to wait. The force. Oh, sent the force. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's awesome. So let's start with the Delman Circus. It came to Gulfport, and the tickets were only ten bucks. It was very entertaining and well worth it. They even had the motorcycle globe of death. And not all circuses have this. It's a family friendly event and definitely worth it. But we've got to get going to Foley. We've got a hot air balloon festival to catch. As soon as we got into Alabama, we took a drive down to Gulf Shores to check out the beach and see what's happening there now. And so it turned out the NCAA Collegiate Volleyball Championship Tournament was taking place this weekend as well. Well enough lying around, it's time to cross the street and explore the tourist traps and maybe get a bite to eat. Look at that thing. You gotta pay a dollar. I want to know what the good time is. This is gonna be tasty. So after lunch, we went to the Welcome Center to get the 411 and what's going on in the 251. I tell people all the time, you gotta check out these welcome centers. They got the deets on what's going on around town. Everything from paid events to free events. And at this welcome center, right behind it is the Centennial Plaza Garden. We love checking out the garden, and it was a beautiful area. But when there's trains involved, I get distracted. The Model Railroad Museum is a great way to spend the morning or afternoon. And not only do they have the model train exhibit, they also offer a train ride in the summer and this is powered by donations and volunteers. The museum is dimly lit, so it's easy on the eyes and easier to see the exhibits. But for filming purposes, it was a little dark. So you're just going to have to check this out for yourself. It was very cool. The staff here was awesome. 
and these guys call themselves the Caboose Club. It's not a real train club. They don't have any president. There's no bylaws. It's just a great group of guys that like to get together and play with model trains. The O-Gage layout was donated to the city of Foley, and it's the Caboose Club members who build, repair, and operate this very impressive exhibit. The layout was even featured in the September 2019 edition of Classic Toy Trains. Over the past few years, I've noticed a resurgence in toy train collecting. More museums are popping up across the country and it's not just these very valuable layouts that are resurfacing after being hidden away in basements. Private clubs and organizations are going public and building new layouts with visitors and guests in mind. And joining a club is even easier than before. One last look at the train caboose and we're crossing the street to go check out the newly completed Holmes Medical Museum. It was Baldwin County's first hospital. Donations are appreciated, but admission is always free. You can take a step back in time and see what medicine was like back in the 1930s and 40s. And believe me, you'll appreciate the times now. This device was supposed to cure a migraine. That was the thought. But it's basically a handheld electric chair. And yeah, you got that right. You take a sponge, wet it, put it on your forehead, and hang on to two electrical rods. It's through trial and error that we find solutions, like this old x-ray machine. But this room of quackery is where you'll find all sorts of hold my beer moments in medical history. I'm not going to give you a whole tour of this museum here and now, but it's free, so it's worth checking out if you're in the area. I encourage you to stop by. So it's time to get something to eat before we head over to the Hot Air Balloon Festival. And what better than Stacy's Old Time Soda Fountain? It's a historic building that's been preserved. This is the OWA. O-W-A. Now that doesn't stand for anything, it's just called the OWA. It has its own downtown district and it's the home of Tropic Falls and the Foley, Alabama Hot Air Balloon Festival. Yeah, it's like a town. So Tropic Falls is a huge water park and they have all kinds of these bars, pubs, restaurants, stores, shops, even has a Cinnabon, a whiskey bar, plenty of water, and just over the bridge is where you'll find this year's Hot Air Balloon Festival. Check it out. This is the Hot Air Balloon Festival in Foley, Alabama. Oh, we're so excited. I've been waiting for this for over a year. They have a few acres that's set up for food and vendors. And of course we bought a balloon spinner. We got a tie-dye one. These are all handcrafted goods. And over the years, Kim and I have gotten away from online shopping, and we shop local now. This OA attraction is just awesome, and it's free to get in there. Across the pond from the vendors, they had live bands playing, so Kim and I went over to set up across the hill and wait for the balloon glow. 
Hey, this band is called the Funky Lampshades. And for those of you that know me personally, you'll know why that's ironic. If you live on the Gulf Coast and you haven't checked this out, you should. It's awesome. It's a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is the Friday Night Balloon Glow. It's a free event and plenty of parking. You can bring a wagon and some camp chairs and just set up anywhere along here that you see green grass. Every day of the event that they're able to, they'll fly a few balloons and then they do a balloon glow at night. And there's also tethered balloon rides that you can do. This is the type of event where you don't have to do anything. You just have to be present. Bring a chair, listen to the band. All of these folks sat with us for hours. All in good company and we had a great time watching these balloons light up. If you're looking for accommodations when you come into town, there's a Marriott on site and plenty of hotels in a nearby area. Plus, the OA is now building an RV park which should be completed soon. They have about 50 balloons in attendance at this point, and year after year, more and more show up. You'll want to be here for the whole weekend because the balloons can only go up in fair weather. And we're glad we did because this was Friday night and Saturday, well, that was a different story. Look, it rained. All day. All day. We did not come <laughs> appropriately dressed. We too are well aware we just look ridiculous. We look, we look a fool. <laughs> we didn't even think about it. We had a great time and we'll be back next year. But now we got an invite to the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the fair.